Ever since the first humans imbibed the knowledge of good and evil, it has become part of human nature to define good and evil based on our own terms and limited understanding. These arbitrary definitions have so gone out of hand that the Bible says of humans in Romans 1 verses 21 to 22 of the Living Bible, and after a while they began to think up silly ideas of what God was like and what he wanted them to do. The result was that their foolish minds became dark and confused. Claiming themselves to be wise without God, they became utter fools instead. In the words of Isaiah, all we like sheep have gone astray, we have turned every one to his own way, and the Lord has laid on him the iniquity of us all. Isaiah 53 verse 6, NKJV In Hebrew, the word iniquity is from the Hebrew noun avon, meaning to bend, twist, distort. Our knowledge and understanding of God have become so distorted that we end up destroying self and others. God said in Hosea 4 verse 6 of the Living Bible, My people are destroyed because they don't know me, and it is all your fault, you priests, for you yourselves refuse to know me, therefore, I refuse to recognize you as my priests. Since you have forgotten my laws, I will forget to bless your children. God then said in Hosea 6 verse 6 of the Living Bible, I don't want your sacrifices, I want your love, I don't want your offerings, I want you to know me. God wants our love dude. Let that sink in. God has been so misrepresented by his human spokespeople that he sent his only beloved son as Jesus the Christ to explain, interpret and reveal him, John 1 verse 18, Amplified Bible. We will never get to know God for who he really is through the law and its religious rituals of sacrifices. Therefore, when Jesus came into the world, he said, Sacrifice and offering you did not desire, but a body you have prepared for me, in burnt offerings and sacrifices for sin, you had no pleasure. Then I said, Behold, I have come, in the volume of the book it is written of me, to do your will, O God. Hebrews 10 verses 5-7, NKJV The will of God is for humans to believe in Jesus whom he has sent, John 6 verses 29 and 40, Living Bible. This is because Jesus Christ and Him crucified is the definitive display and show of God's unconditional love for us, John 10 verses 11 and 18, Romans 5 verse 8, 830, 1 John 4 verses 9 to 10, NKJV. As Jesus Himself revealed, we are to know God as our Father who Himself tenderly loves us, John 16 verse 27, Amplified Bible. As clearly evident from Hosea 6 verse 6, Living Bible, God wants our love. We love because God first loved us, 1 John 4 verse 19. He wants us to believe in Jesus because his deep love for us is seen and proven by Jesus Christ and him crucified, Romans 5 verse 8. There is only one gospel. It is about how the beloved Son of God has come in the flesh to be Jesus Christ and him crucified to save the world, Romans 1 verses 1 to 4, Living Bible. The prefix anti can also mean instead or in place of. Hence, Antichrist refers to anyone who claims to take the place of Jesus as the Savior of the world. Humans are being destroyed for the lack of knowing God as our loving Father as shown and proven by the Gospel of Jesus Christ. For this reason, the Apostle Paul pronounced a double curse on anyone who preached any gospel other than that of Jesus Christ and Him crucified, Galatians 1 verses 6 to 9, NKJV. Don't pray pray ah. There is only one Savior. His name is Jesus, Acts 4 verse 12, NKJV.